Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. So I was working on mass producing my own Christmas cards that I'm going to send out. Who else is working on Christmas cards right now? Um, and I decided to add some snowflakes. This is the card that I made last last week. This card that I made last with last video. In uh, making these, I discovered that I didn't buy the dies for this, so what a conundrum. I need to either cut out a whole bunch of little snowflakes by hand, or I can use a scan and cut that I get sitting right there. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, so this is the card I made last video. Very pretty, very simple, and I decided to add snowflakes okay but since I didn't buy the dies that's gonna be a lot of cutting individual snowflakes so lo and behold I have a scan and cut so the scan and cut let me cut individual snowflakes in mass production so let me show you this um, and I can do different sizes and all kinds of stuff so I've gone ahead and stamped um, a large snowflake from this Joyful Flurry uh, set. Um, I've used a large one. This one is this one. Nope, this one. And these are these. And these are these. Okay, so I've stamped them out on just a um, basic white. And I'm going to show you here. Let me come in really close. Bear with me as I woo the camera. I'm going to cut these out on the scan and cut. Now the scan and cut um, wants will has the ability and will want to cut all the way in here, and I don't want it to do that. I want I want an um, basically like an outline cut out of my snowflake. So what you have to do with the um, with the scan and cut is just take a pencil and just draw around, make a shape around your design so that the, it will cut around the outer shape. Okay, so I'm making a basic, it's not a circle, but I'm making a, I'm connecting all of these little um, lines. So let me, I've already done the whole rest of the sheet. I'm going to do one here on camera and I'm just making an outer um, edge for the scan and cut to follow. Okay, am I still in frame? Yes. Okay, so I'm just connecting the points of my snowflake here so that my scan and cut has something to follow. So scan and cut is similar to Cricut where I can cut vinyl, I can do other things like that, um, heat transfer, HTV, but what this can do that the uh, Cricut cannot do is it can scan. So I'm going, so this is perfect for us uh, stampers because we are stamping everything. I can scan it through and then it will cut it out for me. So. We're going to try something here. Um, I'm actually going to go to another camera and then come back to the desk. So just a second. So I'm going to load this onto my map. And I'm going to secure it with some washi because my map is not as sticky as it was when it was brand new. Just make sure I don't cover the registration marks. Okay. So I'm going to load my mat. This is an SDX 125 Brother Scan and Cut. Load the mat. Okay, so the machine has recognized the mat. Now I'm going to scan, direct cut from the machine. I've got it set to read 12 by 12, which is just the area that it's going to be scanning. I'm going to start. 
and it's going to scan now. So the Cricut won't scan. You can work with digital images on the Cricut. You can work with the digital images here on this one as well. But this machine is actually scanning my stamped images from Stampin' Up! Or from any other brand, for that matter. Okay, so it has scanned my file right there. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to take the little handles and select my working area. Okay, that looks good. Ignore object size. That's um, any of this incidental stuff. We want to make sure it doesn't scan anything um, that's small like that, that doesn't need to be scanned. And uh, just make sure that these numbers are not bigger than your objects that you're trying to cut. I'm gonna click OK. Um, and I'm seeing here, let's make, magnify this a bit, that it's looking to cut all the way in here into the snowflake where I want it to cut just the outline. So I'm going to click this squiggle and allow it to smooth out the edges. So let's preview that and see if that clears up my circle there. I'm not cutting circles, just the outline that I want it to cut. That's much better. It's recognizing just the outline. That's, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to click OK. OK. I'm going to click here to give myself a bit of a buffer so I have a white edge around my snowflakes. OK. OK. Select to cut and start. It's telling me it's going to take three minutes, so we're going to let this cut and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we are done cutting. I'm going to use my little spatula. That washi's reusable, so I'll just stick it right there. And let's see how we did. Look at that. Nicely done. Okay, I'm going to unload my mat. And I'm just going to bend it a little to get my snowflakes off. Beautiful. And I did not have to cut all of those out myself. stick right there. It's okay. Just bending the mat just a tad to get this off. I'm going to do this right here. And here are my finished snowflakes. Ready to assemble. So let's come back out a little bit. All right, so that was my initial project. These are the ones that I cut earlier. Let's make a fresh one right now. So here's my basic background. I've got a couple to go. <laughs> okay, so we are going to assemble this. Let's put a snowflake here and maybe another one here. And my wording and maybe a little one here. That looks very nice. All right, so let's put it together. Now, I do have pencil marks from my drawing. Um, so you could take those out 
take a little eraser and take those out, but I'm just going to leave them in. There we go. Snowflake there. Snowflake there. We're going to pop these, this one on dimensionals, just like I did on my sample. And almost done. One more. There we go. Now one last touch, a little wink of Stella. just to give it an extra sparkle. And yes, I probably should have done this before I glued everything down, but it's already down. So we'll just do it now. Okay. So let's see how that looks. Very nice, very nice. And I need my pearls, and then we are completely done. Let's see, there's my pearls. Perfect. So what do we think? Very simple. Extra snowflakes. And cut really, it took three minutes to cut like however many is this? One, two, three, four, twelve, twelve, um, twelve snowflakes. It took the scan and cut three minutes to do. So that's my uh, tip for the day. Use a scan and cut. Um, if you don't have a scan and cut, then you can simply um, fuzzy cut these, hand cut them out, or of course buy the dies. I hope you liked my tip today. Thank you for watching my videos. Please remember to like and subscribe and share my videos. Click the notification bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.